What's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm officially a nursing student. After three very long stressful semesters, I finally got accepted into my school's nursing program. Uh, it was this time last year that I started taking my prereqs for nursing, summer 2020. And it was also around the time that the pandemic hit. So we were transitioning to a full remote uh, learning setting and not gonna lie that transition was a bit tough for me um, i'm someone who decided to go back to school many years after graduating high school and i'm overall a social interpersonal learner so i enjoy being amongst other students being taught in person um, the thought of teaching myself anatomy and physiology uh, was quite intimidating <laughs> so I really had to figure out what was gonna help me make it through um, and I did I found some things that not only helped me make it through but helped me stay motivated maintain a 4.0 and get into the program so I want to share with you guys seven tips that may help you with your online classes this semester so first things first, get all of your ducks in a row. Have a plan. Talk to your advisors. Some of you may not know where to start. I know I didn't. I had to speak with an advisor, figure out what I needed to do, what classes I needed to take. I had a goal to finish my prereqs in a certain amount of time and had my advisor create a map for me. Have your advisor do the same so that you have an idea of what you're doing. <laughs> it's really difficult to get started and not having a plan set in place. So that would be my very first tip. Tip number two, set the tone. We wanna to create a good workspace for ourselves. I know that many of us have limited space to work with or may not have an office at home, but I highly suggest if you have the opportunity to invest in a small desk that you can fit in your bedroom or a quiet area in your home. For so long, I had to study at my kitchen table or in this open loft that I have. And not only was it super inconvenient for me, but for my family as well. So having your own workspace will help you stay focused, unbothered, you can decorate it to your liking, add motivational art on the walls, candles, infusers, good lighting. I even like to add study with me videos on YouTube. Um, one of my favorites is MD Prospects. I think he actually changed his name to Study MD now. I'm gonna link him down below. I love, love, love him. He lives in, in an apartment overlooking the city in Canada and it just sets this nice ambiance for you, plays nice music, and usually sets up Pomodoro style study sessions. So not only is it nice to look at, but it keeps me on my toes. So highly suggest to uh, set up a space that you're gonna enjoy sitting at for long hours at a time and help you stay motivated. Tip number three, get your course materials in order. Uh, of course, have a computer that works. If you have a laptop, maybe invest in a wireless mouse or a second monitor to make it a little bit easier to work. Make sure you have access to your syllabus. Get a calendar or planner. You guys, this has saved my life. We think we can remember everything. We really can't write everything down in one place, stay organized, your syllabus for most classes, but especially online classes, will usually have your semester laid out for you with due dates for assignments, projects, so forth. So at the beginning of the semester, make sure that you get your syllabus in order. You do not wanna be that student that has no idea what's going on just because you didn't look at your syllabus. Look at it. Take a look at the materials that you'll need so that you can prepare beforehand. Tip number four is find your study time. Everybody works their best at different times of the day. I am a morning person. I like to start my days at 5 a.m. It's peaceful to me before everybody else is up. My anxiety tends to kick in later in the day, so I like to knock out my more difficult tasks in the morning. 
but I can sit here all day and tell you that the early bird gets the worm, but if you're going to be a complete zombie and just a nuisance that early in the morning, then that doesn't work for you. Uh, for example, my boyfriend can stay up until 2 a.m. and go down a rabbit hole and retain information well. I, for one, will be a zombie at that time. So figure out what works best for you. Don't let your parents, your brother, your sister, your classmates tell you differently. You know what's best for you, find it, stick to it. With that being said, I take you to tip number five and that is don't procrastinate. Once you find your study time, use it wisely. There's nothing worse than waiting until the last minute to get something done. I know that it's a lot easier said than done. I've been there <laughs> for a while. I use it as fuel. I waited until the last minute and my adrenaline kicked in and I just made sure I got it done. But I did have to learn the hard way. It wasn't until I waited too close to the last minute to complete an assignment and it was very close to 11.59 p.m. the time that I need needed to submit it and my computer lagged on me. I was unable to turn it in at all. And so if you don't have a lenient professor that will extend the due date for you, I mean, you're pretty much working against a computer system when you're taking online classes. So it will kick you out. You won't be able to turn stuff in if you miss the deadline. So get your assignments done early, get started with your projects early in the semester so that you're ahead of the game and you're not overwhelmed and trying to get everything done in the last minute. All right, tip six, you guys, is to prep ahead and stick to a balanced routine. I know that life can get in the way and a lot of us have other things going on apart from school, full-time jobs, full-time families that need our love and attention. Our mental health is also very important. So prepping ahead will definitely help make all of that possible. I am huge on planning and writing everything down. Like I mentioned before, my planner was one of my best investments. I like to plan my days, my weeks, even my months to know what challenges I have ahead of me and so that I can manage my time wisely. I suggest picking a day out of the week that's the least busy for you or just less chaotic so that you can Plan your week, um, prep your meals, you know, make sure that your protein is defrosted. You have snacks at hand, coffee, very important. Um, I like to have some meals cooked and ready to eat in the fridge for the week for my busiest days so that I don't even have to think about what I'm gonna eat that day. I have something there ready to go. And that's just one last thing to stress about. Um, make a time for yourself as well. Self-care days are very important. Make time for your workouts, your quiet time, your meditation, your journaling, just your hobbies, your favorite pastime. Very important to incorporate that in your studying. Pomodoro style study sessions do include study breaks so that you can get up, stretch, eat a snack. Take care of yourselves, guys. Wake up in the morning, get ready, put a little makeup on, even if your camera isn't gonna be on. When you feel your best, you perform your best. And our college education is not free, so make sure that you do everything possible to kill it every single day. Last but not least, I bring you to tip number seven, probably the most important tip of all, and that is to believe in yourselves, guys. Try not to beat yourselves up, stay calm, breathe, take breaks when you need them. Listen to your bodies, they do try to communicate with you. And no one has you like you and your higher power. So just trust in the process. Everything is a learning lesson as long as we keep our eyes on the prize and keep working towards our dreams, nothing can stop us. All right, so if you've made it this far, thank you so, so much for watching. This is actually my very first video, but I do plan to bring you guys more content based around not only my nursing journey, but through this crazy thing we call life. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, leave comments. I would love to hear about your experiences and anything that has helped you get through your online classes, or if you'd like to know anything else about pre 
nursing or how to get into nursing school. Subscribing will also help you stay on track of anything else that I do post so that you don't miss out. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. Thoughts really do become things when you put in the work. So never stop believing, never stop working. The real flex is when you stay solid, when things get tough. Till next time.